Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today let's have some fun. We're going to model uh, something like this. Okay, so and we're going to use adaptive, uh, generic model adaptive. So first, let's create a generic model adaptive. And place one point, make it adaptive. And then draw another point. Draw on work plan, set work plan, pick a horizontal work plan, place it here, select this point, drag it, oops, drag it up. So now this point create a parameter. It's called heart instance. Okay and okay. Okay, so um then select these two points line reference line so this will be the uh, overall height so from this base to the top so now we need to create eight, a new generic model adaptive so in this new generic model adaptive I'm going to place one point make adaptive and go to side view copy this point Oops, let's copy this point up. So now we have two adaptive points. Oh, actually, I'm trying. Oh, I need, uh, I'll, I'll just make it the top one point one. Okay, so now go to elevation. So do a dimension di. Pick this point and this point. So we have this dimension and create a report. Reporting, uh, let's call it height reporting uh, HR and check the reporting parameter. And now go to 3D view. I'm going to draw a model line, a circle, um, draw on work plan, set work plan, pick this horizontal work plan of that point two, and draw a circle here. And then create a radius dimension, pick the dimension, create a radius parameter. Let's uh, let's make an instance. And now, what we can do is um, go. Oh, actually, I'll just create a scale. Okay, scale. Um, and change this to number instance. Okay. So I'll I'll type in zero point five for now. So for radius, I'm I'm going to use the um, the formula scale times hr and OK. So now if I drag this point one up and down, so you will see this uh, radius change. So now load this family into the first family, and I'm going to place the circle. So, but before that, I'm going to select this uh, spline, divide path. Uh, I'm going to make maybe 10, 10 points. Okay. So now go to component. Let's place some circle. And the first one will be uh, from the, just um, make sure the play on face, place on face, and then first point and the second point. So, so you will see. So this radius will change when uh, according to to the height to the the second the distance from the first point and the second point. So I'll just place the first one here, and also I'm going to temporarily hide it, hide the first circle because I don't want to place the second circle on on the first first one. So let's place the second one component. So point and point so now let's hr so i'm going to show you why i place two okay instead of one so if i only place one select it and repeat you will see it's all like a one circle and then place it from here to here from here to here so let's control z so and then if i select these two and repeat we will see the difference so so we will have a nice christmas tree so and also if I tab select and select all so you will see that scale if I change this scale 
so and so we will see uh you can change the shape of this and something's not right but uh, i'll just leave it for now so looks like okay so yeah you can watch it will change the 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 shape of this okay so now um so the next step of doing this is we need to create this uh spiral um, spline okay so I'm going to place some point on these circles so these circles I use these circles for uh, for the for for the placement of the points so now I can just place on these circles okay so um, model point draw on face and I'm going to um, place I'm going to use SQ. So SQ, uh, how to pronounce this? Quadrant, quadrant. Okay, SQ. So for example, we have the first point here, and then the second point will be here, and SQ again. So and and you you will be easy. Let's go to the top. Okay, roughly go to the top, and then SQ here. Uh, why I can't pick oh SQ and then here here SQ SQ um, yeah, I have some problem pick the point okay so SQ tab tab SQ tab 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 SQ tab SQ tab 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 okay all good so now we, we have all these one one two three four da 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 da, da to the here yeah. so now let's create the spline so point one two three sometimes you, you can't just select all the points and create spline it won't work but yeah so when when it won't it when doesn't work you, you just need to do it uh one by one so oops sorry the wrong button so click click uh, again this one this point uh spline oh, sorry and this point spline and uh, this point is fine. And this point is fine. And this point is fine. And this point is fine. So now we have this spline. So that's a part of the the sweep. So change it to reference line. So now we just need some profile. So uh, I'm going to place the point draw on face. So maybe first point here and then you can place another one here maybe and another one here another one here so the last one here and then draw reference so arc draw will plan set will plan so the first one pick this one and then roughly or roughly maybe uh, do an arc like this okay so you can um, you can copy and paste but uh, I'm just going to do it one by one so uh, because they are all different the profiles all different all right oops so not point sorry wrong one mm, like this yeah make sure it's a uh, reference line so the third one reference arc uh on the plan set the plan another one like uh, this like this okay and uh, another one set work plan pick work plan draw it and the last one here and set work plan pick work plan draw it so now select select all these profiles and as well as the spline make sure you tap so you won't select the middle uh, straight line 
so create form so this is the shape we create um, let me have a look um, maybe maybe we need oops wrong one. maybe we need to um, adjust it a little bit maybe uh, for example this one the last one maybe need to be smaller smaller and smaller and then you can you can just drag this point to the top and let's make it even smaller okay so um, yeah and if you want to you can you can you can uh, make it a bit straight and then make it longer maybe and even you can rotate it right so yeah so you can adjust it to um, yeah it's quite similar now so the 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 reason why I use this method method is uh, we, I can still change the height yep yeah you probably need to adjust the uh, just the profile because I I, I, I didn't do any um, parametric make I didn't make it parametric make the profile parametric so yeah but uh, I'll leave it to you so I change that back 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 to nine nine meter and uh, also if we try different scale yeah so still working still parametric um, that's it for today uh, if you have any question let me know um, Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.